Learning Adobe Illustrator can seem like a daunting task, but in this series called Illustrator Basics, I'll break it down for you into short and simple to understand blocks. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the selection tools. The main selection tool, which can be accessed with the key command V, the black arrow here, or the direct selection tool that can be accessed with the key command A. It's handy to know the key commands because these selection tools should be in your arsenal, that it should be something that you're using all the time and switching back and forth between them quickly is going to be handy. So I know selection doesn't sound like the most exciting topic, but it is a core building block of Illustrator and being able to easily select individual points and paths and groups the way that you intend to is very important. So let's, let's cover these two tools. So the selection tool, the main selection tool is very simple. It's an arrow and if you see a path and you click on it, it is now selected. And, and, and now you can start to modify this path, transform it, move it as you see fit. If you want to add to a selection, when you have the selection tool active, if you hold down shift, you can continue to click on additional paths and you will add them to your selection. So now you can move around more than one, or you can add them to a group or apply effects and blends and that sort of thing. So it's handy to be able to select more than one path at a time. That is one way to accomplish it. The other way to accomplish it is to click on a blank area of your artboard and drag. Now whatever falls inside of this boundary will be selected. If you only hover over part of a path, the selection tool will select the whole thing. So in this regard, you can select a whole section of paths and group them together. Now, there are some differences between the selection tool and the direct selection tool, and I'll show one of those to you now. If you switch over to the selection tool and click on a path, it's gonna select the same way that the regular selection tool does. However, if you click on an individual point or on an edge, just that edge or just that point would be selected. If you did the same thing with the selection tool, the whole path is selected. Whereas with the direct selection tool, you can move around individual points and edges of paths. So that comes in handy if you want to modify shapes, modify paths, and you would accomplish that by using the direct selection tool and moving around specific points much the same way that you could select multiple paths with the selection tool, you can select multiple points with the direct selection tool. So in this case, you can modify these rectangle or squares and turn them into rectangles by just selecting the top points and moving them up. Another key difference between the selection tool and the direct selection tool is being able to select individual items inside of a group. So with the regular selection tool, if you were to click on a group, so in this case I've got a circle and a square grouped together, you pick up the whole group. But the direct selection tool allows you to click on a path that is inside the group, move it around, modify it as needed, and then when you come back to that group, it still remains grouped. You could still move this circle around with the selection tool, but that would require you to ungroup the path. So you'd have to select it, use Command Shift G to ungroup it, or alternatively, you could go up to your object menu, go to ungroup, move your circle around to the location that you wanted it to, reselect everything, regroup it. So you can see why using the direct selection tool to modify something inside of a group is a time saver and a handy trick to know. Another thing that you'll notice that I'm doing throughout this video is if I have a selection active and I want to deselect it, I can just click on an empty area of my artboard and whatever I had selected will become deselected. So the final tip that I'm going to show to you applies to both the selection tool and the direct selection tool. I showed you earlier holding shift to pick up multiple paths and that can become tedious when you're picking up many paths in a project. And then I showed you picking up multiple paths by creating a rectangle. You can combine those two techniques where you select, you click and drag to select a couple shapes over here, and then you can hold shift and click and drag again, skipping another one and clicking and dragging. So you can, it's combining those two techniques to create 
more complex selections. As your projects become more complicated, being able to select the paths and points within them is going to be very important. Same thing works with the direct selection tool. You can select multiple points, hold shift, select another group of multiple points, hold shift again, and create a pattern that looks something like that. So just handy to know how to use these selection tools. Like I said, when your projects get more complicated, it becomes more important to be able to select items within them. So that's the end of the video for today. I'd really appreciate it if you'd go leave a comment down below about what you thought. If you liked the video, giving it a thumbs up would be an awesome way to show your support. And if you've liked what you've seen from me, please go check out the other videos that I've got posted on my channel and consider subscribing if you haven't already.